What's good everybody? This is Generation 71 coming back to you or coming to you with my brand new let's play Are you guys so excited? Oh my god. Yeah, <clears throat> I bet a lot of you are actually kind of like in shock because I did say I would never actually do this type of let's play But just something inside of me was telling me that I don't know I need to do this I need to do this this needs to happen right here right now so yeah, here I am doing Pokemon Fire Red. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about this because I'm I'm doing it for a couple of different reasons, a lot of different reasons. One, just for the upcoming Black and White two. I figured I should get into Pokemon again, and what better way to do than just do a Let's Play on it? Also, I've been seeing a lot of different Pokemon LPs as of late, and I saw <coughs> I saw a couple of people actually do you know this particular hack, which is the Omega hack. Which a lot of, um, 300 and some Pokemon show up in it on random routes, so it's kind of cool, kind of, you know, adds a variety to it. Also, you, you gotta consider the fact that I'm also doing a Nuzlocke run. So, what Nuzlocke run entails is, every route that you come up on, the first Pokemon you run into, you have to catch that Pokemon. If you make it faint, if you don't have any Pokeballs, and you run away, if you don't do anything but catch it, not, you can't catch a Pokemon on that route. Now, I don't know if this is necessarily a part of it also, but if you make a Pokemon faint, or what I'm going to be doing is if you make a Pokemon faint and you don't catch it, or if you fight a Pokemon and you don't catch it, you can't catch a Pokemon again. So that'll be interesting, adds variety to it. We'll see how it goes down. But here, now obviously Professor Oak is asking me a name, so I'm going to name myself Dude because I just think it's really funny. <laughs> just every time they call you dude, be like, dude, you will not be victorious here today, or something like that. It just makes them sound really, not gangster, but really, freaking, what's that word? Really, ghetto. <laughs> not ghetto, just like, kind of skater. Uh, a hipster, hipster, that's what the word was, hipster. And here, I think it's funny, which he doesn't even remember his own grandparents' name. Or grand grandkids' name, I thought that was hilarious. But here, we're gonna name him Maroon, because... He doesn't deserve the name Green. Green is too high class for him. So we're going to name Maroon. Because I think he's, you know, better purple. But yeah, so with the different Pokemon available to me and a Nuzlocke run, it should be very, very interesting to say the least. I'm kind of excited for it. We'll see how it goes. So <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, so I also haven't played Pokemon in a while. I The last game I played was actually Black and White. And then I stopped playing that because it was I lost it. And I had a lot of Pokemon on there that I had with me a long time. And oh my god, we're dancing because we have a Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the dance you can do in here. And I'm actually surprised I had a Nintendo. But here we're going to talk to our mom. And it's like, right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, wow, mom, really, really? Is that so on TV that all boys leave? You know what else they have on TV? 16 and Pregnant and the new hit series, 32 and Grandma. <laughs> but yeah, so here, uh, if you go through the town, you're not going to find Professor Oak. You actually need to come to this grass um, grass patch over here for him to actually, you know, come out of the freaking lake like a not Loch Ness monster and just uh, come attack you because like, oh, you're unsafe. You need a Pokemon. Come back to the lab so I can touch you. Wait, what? Who said that? <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like that. And then he just like lead you there and be like, I need an adult, help me. Whoa. Um, yeah, I guess I forgot I had the freaking fast forward set up, my bad. But yeah, so the last, uh, I'm old school, so playing Fire Red will actually be kind of a nostalgic feel to it. Because I played Red, Blue before, I've played Yellow, uh, not Crystal, <laughs> Gold and Silver, and then I stopped there. Never played Crystal, never played the third gen, and I've also never played... Well, I can't say I never played 4th gen, because I recently started playing 4th gen Pearl, to be more specific, and it's interesting. Here, this is the only reason... Uh, oh, well, first I'm going to say that since I'm playing the Omega hack, you get different starter Pokemon, so I'm going to start with Elekid, because he learns Thundershock at, Thunder at level 6, which, I, if, quote me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure no other electric Pokemon can actually do that. I think most electri electric Pokemon don't start with Thundershock until double digits, I'm pretty sure, but, you know, I could be wrong with that. But yeah, I really don't like Gary in this freaking episode. Or in this game, because in the game he's really s just spoiled. <laughs> Here we're gonna call Ella Kid Nero too, what now? Just because I think it'd be funny. But yeah, he's really spoiled in this game. Like in the anime and in the Japanese comment, he's okay, you know? He is a standard, you know, he's stuck up, but he's not spoiled. In this freaking game, he's spoiled. But yeah, if you take Elekid, he'll take a smoochum. Smoochum, 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 smoochum
Yeah, he's just... I, I don't like him in this game. But yeah, so now that we have the Pokemon, we're just gonna dance a little bit. Dance, 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 dance. And yeah, we could go ahead and leave. Or, no, you can stop me too. That, that's awesome. You know, whatever. Float your boat, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, here, it's gonna be an explanation of a battle. Our first battle against Mr. Maroon here. Mr. Motherfucking Gary Oak. Or Gary Motherfucking Oak. Whatever you wanna call him. Based on smooch him. Oh my god, he's gonna smooch you. <laughs> it's a 902 now. During one of my practice runs of this, though, I actually had a girl 90210, so it's like, oh my god, it made sense! 90210 is a girl! And then, yeah, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate from that from girls, but that's okay. Here, all the tutorial bullshit, you know, all the stuff that most people will know, you don't really need to be an expert to know. But here, we lose- <laughs> use Leer! God, I swear I have a freaking brain tumor. But yeah. Using Leer will actually lower the opponent's offense- or offense- defense down. So your attacks will be stronger in later levels. You're really not going to use that much. And, ooh, smooch and pound me. I'll pound you, smooch him. Yeah, girl. But yeah, here, quick attack. Quick attack gives you priority. Most of the time, we'll give you the first attack. And it's fairly decent. With Leer, obviously, it's a lot more powerful. We took out more than half of Smoochum's health there. But yeah, quick attack will usually take priority. There's other attacks that will take priority above quick attack. And other combinations, I guess. I'll just call them that. Man, we got a crit there. <laughs> That's the only time you'll ever hear me say a crit. I I'm not as serious as other people that, you know, call crits, stabs, all that good stuff. And yeah, we get a whole level from that. I'm not entirely sure why. And we learned Thundershock. Yeah, this is when Elika is just going to be beast here. And we defeated Maroon. I also called him Maroon because it kind of sounds like moron. <laughs> so, just to be completely honest there. And more tutorial bullshit. But yeah, it's just... It it'll, it'll be interesting. I'm excited for all the different things that's going to be possible here. But, and then just like, smell you later. Why are you so obsessed with smelling? That's what I want to know. Why are you smelling everything? You could probably just walk through the freaking places and smelling. But here, please leave me alone. Oh my god. Yeah, we get a, a girl here that apparently memorizes signs for us to be like, trader tips, press start to open the menu. Who would have thought a start menu does that? You know, press start. What game hasn't done that? I wonder. But yeah, apparently she thinks we're that hot. Be like, oh, we need him. I memorized this for you. Be like, oh my god. Oh yeah, girl. I'll show you what I'll do with that sign. <laughs> no. Anyways, here, obviously, first route, we ran into a Pidgey. We can't catch a Pidgey, so now we can't catch another Pokemon on this route. And we also can't catch this Pidgey. Or can't, ca can't catch Pidgey again because of my personal rule. That might be the full Nuzlocke rule. I'm not entirely sure. But there you go. And this is why Elekid is a beast. You know, just, oh my god. Oh my god, he's he's so beastly. <laughs> I, I'm really excited because me and him are gonna get along just fine, especially with some of the plans I have for him. So we'll we'll see how it goes. And here, uh, gotta stop with the freaking just uh, random encounters. That's why I, you'll only ever see me actually use. You'll only ever see me actually use repels in this game. That's the only thing I ever buy besides pokeballs. And I'm using the repels just to kind of get this going, you know get the LP going, just make it go faster. But I never actually used to use repels when I was younger. But here, now because we're Professor Oak's bitch, we had to come and get this parcel from this marketplace here. Be like, oh yeah, Professor Oak made you come? Well, here, take this back to him because you're his bitch. Okay, whatever. But... <laughs> Yeah, I, I when I was younger, I never used repels because I figured, you know, random encounters was free experience. And to this day, I kind of play like that. If I get really annoyed, I'll just start using repels because it's just like, oh my god, why am I still here? But most of the time, I still go with random encounters. But for this Let's Play, just to make it go faster, as soon as I get access to repels, I'll start using them a lot more. But yeah, that's the only time I ever actually bought stuff. Like, other than that, I would buy Pokeballs. I guess for the Elite Four, yes, I did buy some Super Potions, you know, Revives, all that other bullshit that you really shouldn't need if you're a cool trainer. But yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna... The ledges are an interesting mechanic to it, because then you could jump to kind of skip some stuff. But yeah, so now that we're back here at Pallet Town, we are going to do some awesome stuff. We're gonna go, you know, do our bitch duties and go give him the freaking parcel but yeah so I, I don't know being old school that i am i feel the need to say that first and second gen is my favorite you know plain and simple first gen is ultimate favorite second gen second favorite and i think it's because i think it was still somewhat simple back in the day they didn't add all this other stuff they did later because back in the you know the original fire our fire red back in the original red back in the original blue they made things so simple where, you know, if you wanted to be more advanced, you could be, but you didn't need to be advanced to understand the game and to actually do good at the game. Because I think the first major change that they did was the fact that 
they split up the attack. So now it's standard physical attack and special attack, standard defense, special defense. You know, that was a bit of a stretch right there because now you get more statistics that you have to work with. And then they started adding abilities for every single Pokemon where... You know, I, I believe my LA kid actually has static, where if uh, a Pokemon attacks me with a physical attack, they'll automatically be paralyzed, or I don't think it's automatically, I think it's like a 50-50 chance it'll be paralyzed. Here, uh, just in case you're wondering what I'm doing, yeah, he's just going on with this long sonnet <laughs> thing. And again, he's being super rude, he's telling us there's a town map uh, at his, his sister's place. His sister's kind of hot, you know, I'm not gonna lie, but... <laughs> Yeah, what was I talking about? I totally forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, they just add so much more to the game in later games where it, it, it kind of not necessarily made me stop wanting to play the game because I still play the game and I understand the mechanics. But I guess that's why I like the beginning of the games. I, I, I like them more because they're more simple, more people can get into them. A lot of people saying, you know, first gen, not the greatest generation out there. If it weren't the first game, people wouldn't like it as much. I don't necessarily find that true, but some people have their own opinions. I also talk about the original uh, originality of Pokemon, where obviously we have snakes in this, we have birds in this, we have rocks in this. But then when you look at later generations, you know, the most current generation, you have a freaking ice cream guy. You have a freaking trash can guy. Here, I'm going to buy all the Pokeballs that I can, you know. Nothing, just want to explain the game. But yeah, you just, uh, the originality is different from generation to generation. Different ideas come into mind. So you can't really say that, you know, first generation didn't have really original ideas, because, you know, they did what they could work with, and they've been changing their idea of originality as generations went on so but you know this is all long heated debate a lot of people will say you know certain generations are the best everybody will have their own opinion because i grew up with you know the original three you know red blue yellow i'll even throw green because i played the japanese you know one but yeah so i'm pretty sure viridian city counts as a route i'm not entirely sure about this quote me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure it does so i'm kind of excited because i get a swablu here and but not to use thundershock since it is dragon flying so we'll just use the Leer and Quick Attack, no big deal. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure Viridian counts as a route. If it doesn't, you know, like I said, call me on it, I'll make Swablu go away. But, you know, if I could cash this here, I'll be kind of excited, you know. So, got the Leer down, go ahead and use Quick Attack. And we should be fine, hopefully, hopefully. Because, you know, knowing my luck, it'll probably press, ooh, a critical hit. That's also another thing, too, where people take Pokemon way too seriously sometimes. Where you won't see me call a crit call as soon as i said it too god damn it you won't see me call a crit a critical hit a crit often i've been starting to use it a lot more lately but not as much but you know occasionally i will say crit but i will never use the term stab i you know same type attack bonus like i don't even say same time attack bonus i understand what it is but i'll never say same type attack bonus i'll never say a stab i'm just not that serious about it here this is route 22 so we'll see what pokemon we can get Ah, oh, it's a Mankey. Ah, I'm kind of excited about this because I can actually get a Primeape. Ooh, Primeape, you know, decent fighting type. You know, not the best, but decent. Especially for first gen. So, we'll go with the Thunder Shock because I guess that's the best route to go see how much damage it actually does. Maybe we could paralyze it. And, and decent scratch. So, I think we'll follow it up with the Leer and a quick attack. So, that should be good. All good in the neighborhood. But, yeah. I just, a lot of people get really serious into Pokemon and... You know, I guess, you know, I've never been that motivated in any sense of the word to in anything, really. So, I won't get so excited about something. And Really? So, a Leer and a Quick Attack takes you out, but a Thundershock wouldn't take you out? I, I, whatever. You know, whatever. I don't even want you anyways. <laughs> okay. So, where was I? Yeah, I just won't get that serious about it. You know, I just have fun with it. It doesn't mean I don't understand it. I understand most of the mechanics of the game. It's just, like I said... Some of the stuff earlier. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. Get away from my pants. No. Stop touching me that way. This is my no no zone. Leave me alone. Damn it. He's gonna teach us how to catch Pokemon. So, you know, whatever. I don't need to actually do that. And we got a Teachy TV. I don't know what the heck is that. I don't really care, to be completely honest. I'll probably check it out later. But yeah, now we go on to Route 2. Now we get to Viridian Forest. And you gotta, you gotta love this song. Well, here we go with another Pokemon, and it's a Pidgey. So wait, if I ran into a Pidgey here, does that mean... Obviously, I can't, I can, or I can't catch it because it's the same Pokemon. 
But does that mean my first Pokemon in that first route is gone, so now I can't catch it at all? I can't catch a Pokemon at all? I don't know how it works with duplicates, but, you know, whatever. I didn't want to pitch you anyways. And, well, well, there's more routes, so we'll find Pokemon. And I don't know if caves count as routes, too. Like, if a cave is on the route, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll look up more of those later. But, yeah. So we took it out with a freaking... And we paralyzed it, too. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Almost at level 8. Uh, gotta love this song. I love this song. It's death. But yeah, we go through here. You don't really need to talk. I mean, there's some, you know, obviously standard stuff where, you know, if you talk, if you went into your PC at your room, there's a potion in there. There's also a potion on the first route, too, if you talk to one of the guys. But yeah, so we're right, right here. I wonder, I kind of want to find a Pikachu, but I kind of don't since we found an Alec Cave. A Bell Sprout, really. Out of everything you could have given me, give me a Bell Sprout. Ah, <sighs> well, it's not the best grass type, but I guess, you know, we'll work with it. So we'll stare it down, stare it down and into its deep dark soul. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't want a Pell Sprout to be completely honest. But I mean, this is the only Pokemon we could catch in this route, so I guess why wouldn't we catch it? So eh, I guess it's good to have a backup, you know, Victory Bell. You know, nothing too good. But I don't know. Do another quick attack. See how it goes. Ooh, okay, that's perfect. It's perfect. Nine Whip. Wait. Did I not heal? Son of a bitch. Okay, so by the rules then, that means... Elekid fainted. That means El I'm no longer allowed to use Elekid since I haven't caught another Pokemon. That means I can't keep playing. Alright then, guys. Well, I think that's the end of this LP. Thank you all for tuning in. If you guys like this LP... You know, I really appreciate it. If you caught any part of it, you know, appreciate it as well. And yeah, I think we'll cut it there for now. So until next time, guys, I guess we'll catch you guys later.